Welcome to the City of Miami instructional video for high-rise hose deployment methods. After rigorous research and development, we have found these tactics to be the safest, most effective, and efficient way to deploy our new 2-inch high-rise hose kits. These methods account for the South Florida building codes and fire behavior within these structures, as well as our current manpower and staffing levels within the City of Miami Fire Rescue. This video concentrates solely on the fire attack team. The fire attack team usually consists of the first arriving engine and rescue to a high-rise building assignment. The primary responsibility of the fire attack team is to safely place the first hose line into operation between the occupants and the fire while confining the fire to area of origin, protecting the primary means of egress and the stairs. This task will be followed up by rapid extinguishment to increase life safety for both firefighters and civilians within the structure. The two inch hose deployment was developed as a team concept for the use of built in standpipe systems within a structure. Members should take into account that many buildings with standpipe systems with fires on lower floors can be fought with pre connected lines of pumping apparatus to increase efficiency and avoid relying on building systems which may fail. The fire attack team will make their way to the floor below the fire and positions 1 and 2 will continue up to the fire floor to determine fire conditions. Determining if the hallway is tenable, light smoke versus untenable, heavy smoke or visible flames will assist in determining whether crews will deploy hose lines dry to the apartment door or charge lines inside the stairwell. Position 1 will be designated the fire attack team leader. On arrival, one floor below the fire Positions 3, 4, and 5 will stage their high-rise kit inside the hallway, ready to be deployed as a potential backup line once a first hose line is in operation. Position 3 and 4 will check the layout of the floor below the fire to determine the correct location of the apartment in question on the fire floor. Using information referenced from the fire alarm panel, bystanders, and security on scene. On arrival at the standpipe connection one floor below the fire or one and a half floors below the fire if the standpipe is located on a half landing, position six will place its hose pack on the floor ready for position five to begin deployment. Position six will examine the standpipe connection to determine if any items are obstructing the waterway, threads are damaged, or the presence of PRVs or PRDs are noted. If pressure reducing devices are present, this information needs to be relayed to the incident commander to determine the correct pump pressures. Position 6 will flush the standpipe system to remove sediment and debris prior to charging the hose line. Position 6 requires a senior firefighter with knowledge of hydraulics and fire behavior. This is a critical position to the overall success of the fire scene. Position 6 is responsible for regulating the correct flow pressure and will control the flow path into the fire floor. Position 6 will connect a drop down hose, gated Y, and inline gauge to the standpipe and will wait for orders to charge the hose lines. Position 6 will ensure that a constant flow pressure of 105 psi is delivered to the inline gauge by adjusting the standpipe wheel prior to leaving this location. In cases of limited space or tight hose cabinets, a 45 degree elbow has been provided in the high rise kit to assist in making these connections. Position 5 will prepare the hose pack on the floor below the fire. Once the straps have been removed, position 5 will grab the middle section of the hose marked with a 2 inch stripe and the male hose coupling. Position 5 will ascend to the half landing and place the middle section in the outside corner of the landing. Position 5 will lay the hose on the outer edge of the stairs to keep them clear of tripping hazards. Position 5 will continue to the fire floor with the male coupling and begin attaching it to the hose pack left by position 2 on the fire floor landing. 
Once on the fire floor, fire attack team leader has determined the tenable versus untenable hallway stretch. Position 2 will place the hose pack in the correct location on the fire floor and remove the straps. Position 2 will grab the middle section of the pack marked with the 2 inch stripe and ascend to the half landing above the fire floor. Position 2 will place the middle mark of the hose in the corner of the half landing above the fire floor and ensure the hose is laid along the outer edges of the staircase and landing. Running the male side of the hose on the outer edge of the stairs allows for the most efficient deployment once the line is charged. Position 1 and 2 will prepare the nozzle section of the hose removing the straps and opening the hose load into a circle to allow for expansion. Position 1 and 2 will connect the male and female couplings to complete the line. This gives you a total of 225 feet with 150 feet of hose ready for advancement on or above the fire floor to assist in deployment. Position 1 will relay all necessary information to responding units and the incident commander and request additional resources as needed. In an untenable hallway, scanning the fire door with a thermal imaging camera or feeling the door for heat are useful tools in assessing the rapidly changing conditions. Position 1 will call for water once connections are complete. Having a firefighter place their foot on a section of hose will keep the hose from sliding during the initial charging of lines due to the weight of water. Crews need to allow hose loads to fill and expand prior to opening the nozzle and bleeding air from the line. Extra hose found on landings below the fire should be made into loops that will assist with advancement as needed. Position 2 will take the nozzle and establish a correct flow pressure coordinated with position 1 and 6. Position 1 will control and chalk the door while position 2 begins hose advancement. Position 1 and 2 will stay on the same side of the hose line and make their way to the door reported by position 3 and 4 from their recon of the floor below the fire. The nozzle section is designed to uncoil as it is stretched out, flipping over on itself for ease of advancement. Positions 3, 4, and 5 will ascend after their initial tasks and will help locate the fire apartment, force entry, and control the door for position 1 and 2 on the nozzle while advancing hose and assisting around corners and vents. To decrease firefighter fatigue and strain, place your SCBA bottle into corners to assist in hose management. Once the 75-foot loop section is deployed, 75 feet will be gravity fed from the half landing above. The remaining hose from below will be advanced by position 6 using loops to increase efficiency. Once the fire apartment door is open, allow a brief pause to allow pressurized smoke and gases to escape which will increase visibility and aid with rescue and fire attack. If conditions or reports determined necessary, once the first hose line is in operation, position 3, 4, and 5 will head one floor below the fire and start a backup line. A consideration for stairwell landings having limited space. Once the nozzle coil loop load has expanded, you can lift the hose on its side and rest it on the wall. This tactic allows for the hose to deploy in the same manner as previously mentioned, but will open up much needed space to allow you to walk through. A tenable hallway has light smoke conditions, making it safe to stretch hose lines dry to the fire apartment door. The major difference in a tenable hallway stretch deployment is that once position 1 determines the hallway is safe, position 1 will place the nozzle section just outside the fire apartment door instead of at the stairwell landing. Position 2 will then advance the male coupling from his high-rise pack to connect with the nozzle section position 1 has left outside the apartment door. The remaining members of the fire attack team will complete their task as described earlier in the untenable hallway deployment. Positions 3 and 4 will force entry and control the door for position 1 and 2 on the nozzle. If conditions determine it necessary after the first hose line is in operation, position 3, 4, and 5 will make their way below the fire floor to set up a backup line. This concludes the untenable and tenable hallway 2-inch high-rise hose deployment models for the City of Miami Fire Attack Team in high-rise buildings.